Hi Robert, it's Alea, and I don't know if you had a chance to watch my video or not that I um, did in response to your plea for help, but um, I'm sending you another video just in case. Um, hopefully this will have some information in it that might be useful to you. Um, I, I'm, I saw, I've been watching you and sort of following your progress, and I saw that you uh, were picked up by um, a guy who's an expert at weight loss, which is fabulous. Congratulations. And I know this is going to work for you, and I'm really happy for you. I have a couple of tips that I think might help you even further. Um, I am not going to profess that I have any idea of what it's like to be in your position. But I will say that I know what it's like to have addictions that are difficult to sidestep. And that food is one of the hardest because with other addictions like alcohol or drugs or you know that type of thing, you can just you can just say no, as they say. You know, you can just not drink. You can just say, I'm never going to drink again, and that's the end of that. Or you can say, I'm never going to do drugs again, and that's the end of that. And so you don't have to, there's no temptation. Where food, on the other hand, is something you have to have. You have to eat. And so you can't say, I'm never going to have food again, and that's the addiction is over with. In the case of food, you have to have food. And so it's difficult to break that kind of addiction. So um, I, I have a couple of things that I think might be helpful for you to help you get through that that glitch and that might make you more successful than you were the last time. And I wrote them down so that I wouldn't, that I have the the um, outline for it so that it is as concise as possible. The first one is to get a clear vision of what you want yourself to look like when you're finished. So that means, um, and what I did in order to even lose a little bit of weight that I wanted to lose, and also <clears throat> I did it as far as drugs and whatnot were concerned, and I've done it with other things in my life, is I got pictures of people who were successful at what it was that I wanted to do. So I would suggest that, now I don't, I don't mean go out and, or have somebody bring you or even download from the internet pictures of super buff guys because at this point where your body is and where those guys are, it's not even going to seem even remotely possible. So what I would suggest for you is to find pictures of people that are, you know, of the weight that you would like to be and that sort of look like what you would like to look like. Make sure that you're realistic about this. Don't go overboard, but do put some pictures up that will give you a clear vision of what your end result will be like when you're finished, because that will give you something to focus on. I would say put it on your screensaver on your computer put pictures up anywhere that you happen to be looking. You can put them over your bed, put them beside your bed, put them on the fridge, put them on the TV, put them everywhere that you your vision is going to happen to fall, wherever you're going to be looking. Because that will give your mind something subliminally to focus on while you're working on everything else. So your mind will be working while you're working. And um, I would say, you know, if you have a cell phone, um, put it as a screensaver on your cell phone. Uh, you know, anywhere that you're going to be looking so that you will have this constant reminder of what it is that you're going for. Because that will keep it in the forefront. The other thing that I would suggest for you is to um, spend all of your time. You said you spend a lot of time on the Internet. Okay. Spend your time watching... Um, you know, anybody, not the advertisements, not people that are trying to sell you stuff, but people who have lost weight um, 
at successfully, not uh, gastric bypass, not you know any of the cheating systems, but the people who have by their own um, system of you know proper nutrition, healthy nutrition, um, moving their body, that type of thing, that have lost weight and maintained a healthy weight doing that. Fine, and, and I'm kind of steering you away from the food supplement kind of things, you know, the body by whomever, because that's a crutch, and so you'll, you'll become addicted to that, and that's not what you want to do. You want to be addicted to having a healthy body, and that's a good addiction to get, and if you can figure out a way to replace your addiction to food with that addiction to a healthy body, you're in, you're home free. You're home so free. So... Spend your time watching videos. I would say um, Bill Barlow, who, who is a friend of Dan McDonald's, take a look at his. Dan, the raw food trucker, he's another guy that weighed like five or 600 pounds and lost the weight using um, fruits and vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Um, and there's a whole bunch of others out there that have done it with a really healthy lifestyle. The advantage of these ones that have done it using um, raw fruits and vegetables and juice is that their skin tends to tighten up as they lose the weight. So they don't have this, this you know, Sharpe look when they're done. So I would say, you know, listen to those guys and that gives you more reinforcement. Um, learn as much about your body as possible. Not just your body, but physiology. Learn about muscles, learn about nutrition, and, and it's all on the internet. You don't have to go anywhere. You have a computer, you have a camera, you can sit there and surf the net and you know get all this information without ever moving out of your chair. Now, the program that you have been um, enrolled in, I'm sure that they're going to have assignments for you as well. So I'm not saying bypass those assignments, not by any rate, any far stretch of the imagination, but make sure that you have access to the computer so that you can do something for yourself. Because as long as somebody else is doing this for you, when they stop, you're going to fall off the wagon. You don't want to fall off the wagon. You want to take responsibility for yourself. Number two, um, get the best help that you can. Now, you've got help physically. That's what this guy who has had such success with people who are trying to lose weight, that's what he specializes in. So you've got that. But you also need emotional support and you need mental support. So look for somebody, I would suggest somebody that is um, a specialist in maybe EFT, which is emotional freedom technique. Because if you lost weight in the past and then you gained it back, there's an emotional reason why you are not being successful. And you want to get to that emotional reason and fix it. Same thing with the mental stuff. So find the best person that you can in order to support you. And again, you have you have the ear of the world right now. Your, your video was a genius move because it has given you the entire world. To, um, to assist you. And so use that. And there are so many people out there who are experts in their field and in the field of emotional um, well-being, mental well-being, as well as physical. Now you got the physical pretty well handled because you've got this guy helping you that has had so much success. But the emotional and the mental, you need help there. So find somebody that you trust and that you are comfortable with. That is so important that you trust and that you're comfortable with to help you work through the emotional and the mental. And then the last thing, which is probably the most important, all three of these things are important, but this one is probably the most important, and that is if you've lost weight in the past and then you gained it back and you said you've tried many times and every time you gain the weight back, there is a conflict between what you are saying that you want and what it is that you really want. And so in order to, to have it stick, you're going to have to solve that conflict. You're going to have to find out what it is that you are holding on to that's causing you not to be successful. Now, the people that I'm telling you to find... Um, to help you with the emotional and mental part, they will be able to help you with some of that. 
The other thing that you might want to look at doing is just ask yourself, just, just you talking to you, what is it that, because trust me, no matter what it is that you might think at the moment, the truth is there's a payoff to you being overweight. You're getting something out of it. Um, and, and you need to find out what that something is and then figure out a way to give yourself the same feeling without the weight. So I, I, um, you, you need to ask yourself, what is it that I am afraid of losing? if I lose the weight? What about my life is going to be different? It might be that, um, you know, you'll be attractive to the opposite sex and you're really shy. It might be that um, you were bullied when you were little and it's the only thing you know. It might be that, you know, maybe nobody is going to love me and care for me anymore because I understand you gained weight from the time that you were like four years old. So it's not a new problem for you. There's a whole lot of baggage that's added to that. Whatever your conflict is that makes you incongruent with what it is that you are wanting, you have to fix that. And your, your person who's helping you with emotional and mental work will be able to help you along those lines. And last but not least, Robert, I really want to say to you that do the work and you will have children. Do the work and you will see your nephews and nieces grow up and you'll be able to go to their graduation. And hold that vision. Hold the vision of you being able to play with your son and your daughter and you know have a family and go camping or whatever it is that you like to do. Hold on to that vision. Make that a part of the vision that you want to have in order to have a healthy life because that ultimately is what will help you do the work that it takes in order for this program to be a success for you. Again, I am so happy for you that you found some people to help you. I pray for you and I'm sure that this is going to work for you. And Robert, please be patient with yourself. This is not something that happened overnight. It started when you were four years old or even before that. You're 23 years old now. So you're, we're talking 20 years, 20 years to get where you are. So give it a couple of years for you to get to where you want to go. Until next time, God bless. Aloha.